Hi, I'm Corey Nicole with Where's the Bus TV. How are you? I'm so excited to meet you, Luffy. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. And you look amazing. I love the Thank orange, you. you know, very popping on our skin. <laughs> Thank love you. it. <laughs> but no, I was just so excited about Manhunt because one, I'm a true lover of true crime series. I love suspense. I love mystery. So I can only imagine how this was for you because I thought you did phenomenal. So how was it, you know, with this project and you wanting to get involved to something that was such a pivotal part of our history? I wanted to get a part of it because although I didn't know too much about the Abraham Lincoln assassination, I didn't know that history doesn't say everything. Like what we're taught is like, we're not getting everything. And just off of my character alone, I didn't even know of her existence. So it was just like, oh, okay, let's maybe let's like explore that more. Cause as an actor, you just constantly just want to like answer questions. So that was just a big question mark that came into my life that I couldn't like not answer for myself. Yes. No, for sure. Cause I wasn't even familiar as well. And I thought that was great with teaching me fundamental things that they did not teach us in school. <laughs> they did not, you know, show us. So, you know, outside of your character, of course, you really learning who she was and making it your own. What was another surprising like history fact while you learned while like shooting or something that just really stood out to you? And you were like, wow, I just wish I knew that before. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's not too shocking, but I knew that there was limited information on Mary Sims, but I didn't know that there was more information on John Wilkes Booth's horse than Mary Sims' entire life. And I just felt like that was very shocking, but not, but just like good to know, because it does show you that like not much has changed, like where people's interests are in like live, like people's livelihoods. <laughs> in America yeah no for sure and I'm so excited to see how everyone will react to this because I feel that everyone has their own little different interpretations you know so how do you feel it was just shooting while on set like how were like the hours you getting into character or just describing that whole scene because it's a completely different time period that it's set in it was a completely so was different that? time period um it, but it was easy to fall into that world very quickly only because I do feel like with the information Monica gave me about my character, like what she was able to find was like really good for me to kind of prep mentally. And then getting on the sets, it was like everything looked so realistic. So it was just easy to kind of fall into that illusion of just like, hey, here we are, we're in this time period. So just go do what you gotta do. So yeah, and then and filming, it was like the days were hot. The days were very hot because we were in Savannah, Georgia in the summertime. So it was very hot for the women who had to wear corsets and about like three layers of clothing. So no, for sure. Cause I'm just like, I love costumes. Did great. <laughs> the wardrobe. And now it's just, of course, even like prepping for, you know, this character, it just really takes me back to thinking that if this was in a real life scenario, because of course in the trailer, they do say that, you know, you know, you're an informant. That's part of like what was going on. Do you feel that your character really resonates with your personality? Do you feel that if you were in that real life situation, would you have done the same things? Or do you feel like you would have done something differently than your character? I possibly would have done something similar to my character, just knowing a little bit more about uh, Mary, just knowing that she was a bit more educated um, and knowing that like her, she wasn't always enslaved. So just knowing that she had a little bit of rebellious nature that could have, you know, made her a bit more like the modern day black girl, you know, so definitely, I definitely would have moved a bit similar to Mary, but still having that fear and whatever that looks like on me in those times, definitely. Yeah, and of course I love that they, you know, they have to, you know, touch on of course slavery, you know, previously like on slaves, slaves, people that broke out of slavery. Um, just getting into that topic, I know that of course it can be a little sensitive for viewers and all, but I know that it was probably a very pivotal moment for you to really portray that type of character in that history. So where did you feel that like you really grabbed from? Like what was your inspiration while just, you know, rapping and just portraying this character? My inspiration was really just black woman under oppression um because oppression looks the same a lot on a lot of the same people a lot of different people so just like kind of rationalizing like hey what would i have done if i couldn't have responded as fully or freely um what would that look like so just knowing that mary sims did have a mind of her own so like maybe eye roll there or maybe like a little bit more sharp you know response that wouldn't be just like as like 
obeying. No, thank you so much again for sitting down with me. I'm, again, I'm very excited for to see everyone's reactions to this. I think it's going to be an amazing series. <laughs> and I'm Corey Nicole, again, with Where's the Best TV, here with Love You, Simone. And I just cannot wait for Manhunt to premiere on Apple TV. Thank you.